everybody, what's up? Mark here. Today, we're gonna tackle a question that so many of you have had. So many of you, over the period of a couple weeks, a couple months, have asked me a lot about these guys right here, are different masks. So much so that I felt like when I did my series on what is the difference, we we're missing out on one very special episode. So here it is, the mask special for what's the difference. Ah, the airsoft face mask. Some people hate them, some people love them. But you can't deny that to many people around the world, the face mask is an essential part of the loadout. Face masks come in all shapes and sizes, and today we aim to look at a few that we carry. We can all agree that a good mask should definitely give you good protection, allow you to breathe easy, and not get in your way when you're playing airsoft. So what makes a good airsoft mask outside of what I just mentioned? Well, these are three examples that we carry that I would say are some of the best airsoft masks you can get your hands on. Now we're gonna start with this guy here, the Aeroflex. We're gonna move over to the Skull Face Guard. And finally, our latest and greatest, Armor Face Guard. And we're gonna talk about all three and how they compare to each other. So let's start off with our most popular option, the Aeroflex. Also, it's kind of ironic that we're gonna start from soft to semi-hard, firm to hard. There's a joke in there, but I'll leave it to you guys. Starting with the Aeroflex. The Aeroflex is a great face mask because not only does it give you a lot of protection, it's also very flexible, thus Aeroflex. It also is exceptionally breathable as this cloth, it is vented, allowing the hot air to escape much easier. So it causes minimal fogging when you're wearing eye protection. Another great feature to the Aeroflex is that it's two-piece design. It features a silicone protection inside the cloth. So this is washable and reusable. This you can also clean with alcoholic swabs to make sure it's always hygienic and always germ-free. The design of the Aeroflex has the player in mind. Reason being, as as you can see, it's almost like at an angle how it's cut because when you put it on, it angles upwards around your ear and allows you to snap it behind your head like this. This makes it very comfortable and it does not impede with any helmet and it doesn't cause a lot of strain on your ears. It's easy enough for me to have my mask on. Let's say I wanna put my glasses on, completely fine, or if I want to wear some goggles, I can easily facilitate and it's not obtrusive at all. After the Aeroflex, we're going to move to our middle option here, the Skull Face Guard. Now the Skull Face Guard, hmm, to be or not to be, that is the question. Outside of that, the Skull Face Guard is actually a flexible, almost rubbery plastic that you can cover your face with. Of course, that's the face guard. But there are two little small things that you may not know about the skull face guard. First thing is the skull face guard, you can cut out the sides here to only allow it to protect the front of your mouth, allowing you to have more flexibility on your cheeking. The second thing is how this thing is put on. The snaps can easily be undone if you need it to be, and then you can easily snap it back together. The skull face guard is also very comfortable. While it may not look as such, it really is. The large foam section here allows you to have it close to your face without it eating into your skin. And I will show you how. As you can see how it straps around my head, it's very comfortable. While it does come down on your ears, you can easily make adjustments or pull down on the head strap to make sure it's not pressing in on your ears. The head strap does expand quite a good amount, so it doesn't get in your way. It also works with glasses as well as goggles. I'll show you. My glasses. 
So if you want to be super pit viper guy, you can be that. Or if you want to be sensible, just gotta make sure you're, you've got a little bit of adjustment and away you go. Now you can be Ghost from Call of Duty. Do I look edgy enough for you? Rawr. Finally, we're gonna to move to our latest product, the Armored Face Guard. The Armored Face Guard, just look at it. It is so sci-fi and, and cyberpunk in design. It really hits all the high notes when it comes to something that you wanted to be cool and very unique. Now, these are two panels here and they're fused together and they're polycarbonate, so they're very hard. So like I said, soft, semi-hard, you get the point. A really cool design feature that they have is how they designed this back strap. Now, you can unhook it from here, and then this back strap just loosens all the way up, allowing you to easily put this on and take this off. You have that much give. So to put it on, forgive my messy hair, put this on my head. I'm gonna take these two straps, move it around back, and I can just snap it into place, if I can find it, there it is, and voila, there it is. It's nice and easy, you can adjust it as you, as you like on the fly, and the head strap is just as nice as what's on the skull face guard. Now you can put your hat back on, right? and you're just as cool. You can use these super cyber sunglasses, If I can get it on properly. <laughs> there. Super pit viper guy. And the cool thing about the skull, this armor face guard is because how it directs all your air downwards, it's channeled through your mouth vent here, and it goes down, it will not shoot any of your hot air up into your glasses. Or even if it does, it's very, very minimal. So that's Oh, with my poor pit vipers. Or alternatively, many of you have asked, will it work with goggles? So I'm gonna show you right now. Voila, does it work? It works. It has enough clearance here to make sure it covers your nose. And if you need more clearance, there's a trick up its sleeve that is definitely gonna help you. Now, for those of you out there that may need a little bit more clearance, like I just said, there's a little trick up this boy's sleeve. And that is because the Armored Face Guard comes with two, not one, but two foam pads. So you can double up the foam pad to give you a little bit more space between your face and whatever eye pro option that you may need to use. So, very thoughtful of our designers. Guys, that is a quick rundown of the differences of the three types of face masks that you can use and get from us. Now, which is your favorite? What is your option? This is my personal Aeroflex, but you know, these two are also really, really cool, especially this one. This one, really nice, a little too edgy for me, but I know you Call of Duty ghosts, cosplayers out there are gonna really enjoy the skull face guard. So let me know what is your favorite in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this very special episode of What is the Difference? Don't forget to follow our socials. If you like this video, give us a like, share it with your friends if you thought it was cool. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, without your help, we wouldn't have made it this far. So as a closing message, happy holidays, happy new year, wherever you may be. Thank you for supporting us and being with us on this fantastic, lovely, awesome journey that we have been on so far. And until the next episode, catch y'all next time. And if you guys are looking for cool gameplay and entertainment content, don't forget to check out our international channel right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Yay! Yay!